mesmerising showstoppers that leave a scent trail, I've got you covered. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of The Fragrantition where here on this channel we talk nothing but fragrances. So in this edition we are talking about those showstoppers. We are talking about fragrances that leave a scent trail. Now, some of these may not have the best projection or the best longevity well maybe the best longevity a few of these don't have the best longevity but the scent trail of these fragrances is phenomenal phenomenal with a capital f yes it is it is i want to say capital p but it's a capital f yes so let's jump into it let's jump into these fragrances that will get people talking. So the first one I am talking about is by the House of Givenchy and it is none other that than Ange ou Demon and this is, let me tell you about this fragrance, this is a spicy yet floral, gorgeous, gorgeous, lingering sillage scent trail. Now the projection on this and the scent trail it gives is absolutely stunning. It is vanilla with oak, with oak moss, with lily, some orange in there as well. And I am talking about scents that although this is a reformulate, this is a pre-reformulated version, even the reformulated still performs quite well, but I only have the older juice bottle here. And it's stunning, absolutely stunning. And I would say it's growing in my list as a really, really firm favorite. And I'm gonna be rocking this autumn and winter. It will leave a trail that will get people talking. It is one of those scents that is a real statement. I'd wear this day or night. Now, some people would say that fragrances are seasonal. Who cares? Wear it when you want to. I'm not a seasonal fragrance. I don't confess to be. I have never been and I never will be. But we are in autumn and winter now and the wind is blowing a hooli gale out there. It really is. It's perfect to carry this scent trail of Ange ou Demon by Givenchy. The next one that leaves a scent trail is by Gucci and it is Guilty Absolute. And I have two from Gucci here. Now this fragrance, it is a stunning unisex. The fragrance before was unisex as well. Ange ou Demon completely unisex. This is... It has a bit of rose, cypress, woody. It's very woody. It, the, these are showstoppers. These are mesmerizers. These are scents that people will ask, what are you wearing? Because as you walk by, the scent will linger and the scent will just follow from behind you. And I've had many people ask me about this when I'm wearing this. And I remember I used to work with a girl who, who would just say to me, Gabby, spray this on me and just let me walk to the station and let me go home. And she would tell me that she would get lots and lots of compliments from people and lots of, not that she was fishing for compliments and lots of people would stop her. Lots of people stop me as well. I've had, one day I remember I've had about three people ask me what I'm wearing when I wear this. So, Gucci Guilty, absolute stunning. The next one needs no introductions. Dior Addict, yes, it has been hyped up in the past. It's not really talked about a lot now, but this is your grown-up vanilla and some jasmine, some blackberry. It is a purely 
what I would call a trail that people love. People have asked me about this fragrance. It is one of those that people will just ask you. It is for that person when you're walking into the room you're a confident person wearing this. This is confidence in a bottle. It surely is. It has a magnetism about it and a, an alluring quality about it. It is my Christmas scent. It is my November, December, January, February scent. Those types of years. I haven't worn this yet, but I will be wearing this to, to leave a scent trail. I'm going to be saying scent trail a lot. Lasts and lasts and lasts. The previous two last and this lasts and projects and people will ask you. It is a truly beautiful scent. Dior Addict. Now this little next one is by the House of Dua and it is Hypnotising Venom and I've included this in the mesmerising scent trails that they are because it is almond and vanilla and it is much better, in my opinion, than the reformulated Dior Hypnotic Poison. Some reformulations are good, but the Dior Hypnotic Poison reformulation from 1998 is absolutely, I think, not very good. It's not at all for longevity, even on sillage and projection. This is from the 1998 formula supposedly but it projects and it it will it is a huge scent bubble around you it is a fragrance that performs with that beautiful sillage and as you can see I've worn it quite a lot because it works and it performs and I'm sorry Dior but I have not got the pre-reformulated version of the 1998 formula. So this one will have to suffice, but it works nonetheless. It has that almondy vanilla feel, but on my skin it goes almost chocolatey, white chocolate, beautiful, smooth, creamy goodness, hypnotizing venom. This next one is by the house of Chanel and it is Allure Sensuelle and it will leave a huge scent trail. Men will come hither to you if you're a woman wearing this and when they come you will be asked what are you wearing. It is bewitching, it's alluring, it's captivating, it's beguiling, it's it's patchouli, it's amber, it's frankincense, it's rose, it's candied fruits. It is absolutely stunning in the autumn and winter. And a lot of these scents that I've got here, some are good all year round, but the ones, the previous ones I've talked about and this one, this is particularly good for this year if you want to give an impression of a huge, huge scent trail. Allure Sensuel. Love it. Oh, it is just, yes, it has, it's a grown up quality. It's when you're literally, you don't have, you're, you're a minimalist person like myself and you don't have to wear lots of jewellery. You don't have to wear lots of makeup. You could just have that cat eye, that flicked eyeliner and you're rocking it. You are rocking it. Oh, needs no introductions going on from that scent again. I had to include this little golden nugget because it is that indolic jasmine bomb with animalic musks, the hierarchium, the facets of it. It's just blended perfectly, blended perfectly. It is one of my signatures in my top five for life. And yes, you want to you smell divine. 
rock it look it's not for the faint of heart it's not for wallflowers it is for it is to beguile it is to it's it's the essence of myself i've said so if you are si if you have a similar vibe to me if you have a similar screw you to the world this is it this is as i've said before the joan collins vibe this is that fur coat and no knickers vibe if you want to be you know it is everything and more and it's a work appropriate for me i've worn it to work because i've had people ask me what i'm wearing yes Papillon Salome. It is that textural musk and the way it is blended. I could talk about it for hours. I could I could talk about Papillon for days and days. But Salome, you're looking for that jasmine with a bit of Turkish rose in there, a bit of bergamot, but mostly the jasmine and the musk, the hyracium in there. Absolutely perfection and the trail the sillage trail on this is divine it is for that person that again wants to wear the winged eyeliner and a classic red lip as well or just no makeup wear what you want when you want how you want and for who you want maybe who knows one thing might lead to another papillon Salome. The next one is by the House of Dior and it is Pure Poison and I have the reformulated version but the pre-reformulated is just as good as well. It does perform a little bit better but the trail on this is really really good. However the longevity isn't excellent but the scent trail and the projection it gives for about really four to five hours is absolutely stunning this is your white floral of orange blossom jasmine mandarin orange bit of white musk and sandalwood beautiful ice queen vibes very classic if you want pearls as well with a little bit of jewelry and wear this a red nail or a pink nail as i've got on dior pure poison stunning scent trail that will have people talking the next one by the house of gucci is guilty and the reason why i've chosen this is because it is a lilac bomb powdery lilac it's one of the best lilac fragrances that i've ever smelt with a little bit of pink pepper in there as well and patchouli and amber doesn't last as long as the previous ones lasts about four hours on my skin but while it does it does leave a lovely scent trail and i've had people ask me about this and i could not include it gucci guilty it's not talked about a lot now and i believe it may have been reformulated this kind of design has been discontinued um but i love it nonetheless you do have to spray a good six or seven even eight sprays to make it to project but once it does boy does it and the scent trail and the sillage of it is just a little bit of a meteorite actually so a little bit of a long lost nugget gucci guilty i have nothing to be guilty of this next little one is jasmine narcotique by aaron terence hughes now aaron terence hughes fragrances they do all perform really well but I had to include this little one because it is a jasmine overlay you know I love my white florals with jasmine and I've got you know a lot of jasmine fragrances here although there is one coming up that isn't and this does perform I think Aaron Terence Hughes fragrances again are underrated and they are more of the higher end price range but this little one i've had for quite a while now and when i do wear it the trail it leaves wow it is beautiful absolutely stunning it's not an indolic jasmine it is straight up beautiful white floral like night blooming jasmine stunning trail stunning jasmine narcotique 
by Aaron Terence Hughes. Now, I've not really talked about this before, but it's by the House of Repetto, and it is, which are a dance company where, and it is dance or dance with me this is a lovely sweet fragrance yes you heard it here i said sweet i had to include a little sweet one now this little sweet one has got a macaroon accord combined with pear and it is juicy and unctuous and you're biting into pears and macaroons and it's soft spicy as well but the sillage on this, boy, does it give us little, little scent trail, little, little scent trail. And the bottle is cute, but the performance is stellar. Now, it does last quite a good while as well. It lasts a good six to seven hours on my skin. And I would say this is a little forgotten treasure. So try out this little one, Repetto. It's affordable. It's under £30 and it is gorgeous lovely little sweet macaroon and pear sillage scent trail beautiful dance dance with me by repetta the next one is by the house of mugler and it is aura and this and it's the eau de parfum now this let me tell you is a green like those leaves with vanilla mixed with it and it is a bomb of a scent trail it's an unusual, mysterious scent. If you're looking for a scent that people will look around and think, that's really lovely, in the air. These are all fragrances in the air, give a magical, this is why I've chosen, they give a magical, a little mesmerizing scent quality about them that hang in the air and they, and they hang in the air for a long time. And this is one of those aura. It is your vanillic green, the ghost green leaves, those slightly menthol, strange fragrance, but you get a lot of compliments. I've had compliments from men again when I wear this. Lovely scent trail, aura. Nicola. Scent trail is by Shea and Blue and it is called Mermaid Kisses and I have nearly used this 10 ml bottle up. Now it doesn't last very long but because I think it's a it's got a light it said it's a light scent spray with essential oils but if you do like that apple and water lily feel this is fresh and uplifting and it feels like mermaids swimming this is what it feels like and it's mermaids and water lilies this is what this is and this was gifted to me by Chantelle Tiffany when I went to see her and I love it so much I'm going to repurchase this but you can only purchase this in 10 mils I believe why I would I would certainly repurchase this in a 30 or a 50 ml if they had it mermaid kisses on clothes it lasts for such a long time and again it's one of those fragrances that really hangs in the air it's an outside doors fragrance even in winter i would wear this because it has an aquatic fresh appeal to it and you could just imagine mermaids with their fin tails splashing all around water lilies and green apples red apples floating along the river mermaid kisses this is the image it gives to me mermaid kisses and i forgot there is a final one i had to add this by the house of papillon again and i've only got a little sample of it and it's, it is bengal rouge oh my days oh my days i sprayed it a few months back just a little spray thought nothing of it really until i revisited it about a week or so ago and let me tell you this is the scent trail like salome again it performs but it is ambery and sweet and it's got tonka in there i believe it's got sweet myrrh it's the sweet ma, the sweet ma in this and the tonka gives it that vanillic sweet accord like you're 
putting your face in a vanilla baked cake of a pudding and you're just rummaging, massaging through it. Oh my God, that's such an unusual analogy, but it, it, it just mesmerizing. There's a little bit of rose in this, but the rose is just in the background. So if you don't like rose, you will probably like this because it's not playing there. It's the conductor of this orchestra is the sweet ma. Wow. Wow. Yes, it is. And I've had so many people ask me when I wear this, it is strong, like Salome, it is strong. It I thought, and I'm going to do a wish list. This is on my wish list. I'm going to do a video with my wish list fragrances. This is one of them. And I thought Spell 125 was going to be on my wish list. This is added now with Spell 125. It is Liz conjured up this fragrance from her cat, her Bengal Rouge cat. And it's not the smell of the cat. It's like the texture of it smoothing your hands through the fur, that comforting textural smell. This is it. And she's captured it amazingly, amazingly once again. And it's so comforting. It is, I think it's the best amber feel fragrance I've smelt apart from two others. And that is Shalimar Souffle Intense and Organza and essence. Those two have that feel about it. But this has, if you like gourmands, you will probably love this because although it's not really a gourmand, it says tonka, sweet myrrh, rose, sandalwood, and some orris to give it some powderiness there. It's the sandalwood combined with the sweet myrrh and the tonka that gives it this accord of amber. It feels like there's amber in it and it is just beautiful beautiful breathtaking breathtaking it is stunning and the trail on this is beautiful all of liz's perfumes perform even angelique performs although that's probably the most quietest of the fragrances that i own from her range but this papillon bengal rouge yes Number one, sweet gourmand, but not too gourmand. It's that sweet myrrh. Beautiful. It's the myrrh is like a resin, isn't is it from an incense, like frankincense, but it, it's not smoky. It's beautifully sweet. And it's like a vanilla cake. That little powderiness in there, sweet powderiness goodness. The dry down on this is amazing as well. The scent trail, stunning hangs in the air. Papillon Bengal Rouge. So those were my mesmerizing scent trail fragrances, especially for this time of the year. Some of these are stellar. Some of them are all year round. I would wear a lot of these fragrances all year round anyway. What are your mesmerizing scent trail beguiling fragrances? Comment down below. But as I always say, till next time, stay young at heart and I'll see you in the next edition.